Yo. Welcome to another Centric tutorial. So today we will be talking about converters. Now I already have a video about converters where I show you how you can use a few of the converters, but I've decided to talk about all of the converters. Uh, this is because I got a request in the comments um, to do all of to talk about all of the converters and how they work. Now I don't think I'm going to go over every single converter because some of them I believe are outdated, but we'll see in the videos to come, right? So um, I'll basically have separate videos talking about each converter individually. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now the first thing I'm going to go over is what a converter is. Now converters basically allow you to specify that the parameter of an object should be controlled automatically in various ways are used in mathematical formulas. Now, depending on the type of the parameter, the converter menu will contain different options. So if I should add an, an object to the scene and I right click here, for example, now you can, con you can add a converter here, right? Or you can go into the properties of the object and add a, uh, a converter on any one of these parameter here. So as stated before, depending on which one you want to add a converter on, you'll have access to additional additional converters. So for example, if I go here on the anti-aliasing parameter and I go to convert, we see that we only have these available, right? And if I go to, for example, color here, we see we have these available. And if I go to the origin, we see we have far more um, options here to choose from. Now, the first one I'm going to go over is the add converter. Now what the add converter does, it adds three sub parameters. The first of which is the same type as the parameter itself. So what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and add the add converter. So if I, now we can decide what we want to add it to. And for this example, I'm going to add it to, let's say the, the points. Now the points control the amount of points that we see on our star here. So let me right click, convert, add. And once we add a converter, we see it now has a drop down option here. So let me click on that. And we see that it adds three sub parameters. And again, the first one is pretty much the same yeah, as the, um, the parameter itself. So we see five, five, right? This is basically another way to add the points to the star. So if I type six, we see it also, this also changes here. Let me change that back to five. And we can also use addition to add points to the star. So once you, depending on what you add it to, right? It's just another way to alter the, the object here. So let me go to addition and if I should type one, it adds an additional point to the star. If I should type two, so on and so forth, right? So you see how that works. Let me go back to, two, let me say zero. And scale, if we type two, it goes up to, to 10. So it's this two times this five, that gives you 10, right? So if I should type, type three, right? It's three times five gives you 15 points on the star. Uh, that's pretty much how it works. Um, now you can use any one of these to add points to the star. Yeah, so that's it for the, the add converter. And as you can see, we can add it to the colors as well, All right? The first again is pretty much the same as the parameter itself. And we have addition and scale. And you can go ahead and just mess around with these to see what happens. Okay, so let's look at somewhat of a more practical example. Um, so I'm just gonna create a circle here. And let's say we want to move these any of these points without you know left clicking our mouse and dragging. So uh, I'm just going to convert, click on this point here, and in its properties, notice that it's represented by this vertex point here, and there are no sub parameters to alter the vertex apart from us going here and uh, moving it, right? So this is a perfect. Um, Perfect example for using the add converter. So if I go to my vertex property here and right click convert and click add, 
we now have some sub parameters that we can use to alter this right here. So I'm just going to use a scale and we can increment this in small amounts. So maybe you can go 1.5, right? Notice it's beginning to move. We can do two and so on and so forth, right? And we can also convert this point here as well to the add converter and do something like that, right? And you can of course animate it and get some cool results, all right? So that's pretty much it for the, the add converter. And the true power of these converters come about when you have a specific need and there is a converter to satisfy a specific need that you have. Right, so maybe this, you won't use it for this purpose, but I'm sure there's tons of stuff that you can use it for, right? This is just scratching the surface, right? Um, and this is just my example. So that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Yo.